Well, so many days in April have felt more like late February, early March, but this is April 12th, and it's going to be a dandy day today. Things are greening up nicely, trees and plants taking off with this recent weather stretch. Uh, folks out and about to enjoy a fine morning. The breeze is light, the sky is clear, but watch out now. We're right at sunrise, so heading eastbound, uh, you're really going to have that bright light. So, sunglasses and visor. Uh, right now, we're just on the verge of really getting into it here. Uh, 59. Now, at midnight, it was 66, and this is our coolest part of the day. But much of the overnight was in the low to mid 60s. Incredibly mild stuff. The air is calm. You can't beat that. Right now, Lawrence at 59, low 50s down toward Burlington, also low 50s out to the far west. And it looks like a really good start here where you can get by without a jacket for the next hour or two. Uh, you're in great shape because it warms up so rapidly. And the wind is back to 10 miles per hour just south of Shawnee County. Uh, right now, a southwest wind in Topeka at 5 to at times 8 miles per hour. So that's pretty easy to take as you maybe take a morning walk or stroll, uh, get out and about. And uh, golf looks really good this morning, too. Uh, visibilities are fantastic, so that's not an issue for us. And the dew points have also popped up from 30s yesterday to the mid and upper 40s already. Now we are clear, but these clouds are slowly advancing. It's all west of Hayes getting out toward Goodland and the Nebraska Panhandle, and that will slowly edge toward us, but that's many hours away. In fact, this is about a three-hour sequence just to barely come into the state. So uh, we're looking at getting some of that just west of Topeka by maybe noon to two o'clock, uh, but otherwise fantastic sunshine, and then that sun will gradually get over toward those clouds for late afternoon. Our fire weather warning extends from Salina right down toward the Wichita area, and almost gets down toward the Chanute area, but uh, for us, it's more of a watch situation, but fire danger remains very high, uh, so you might want to just completely postpone it. Even though the wind is light right now, it will kick up today and become very strong tomorrow ahead of the front, even once it goes by, so exercise caution with that. There's our clear sky that we have all day today. Late afternoon, there might be clouds just west. And then once we get into the overnight, we're mostly clear. And then through Friday, we're going to get some developing showers out here to the far west and maybe a couple of thunderstorms. So we may get some towering cumulus clouds off to the east here through our counties from Lawrence, uh, working down through the Ottawa area, also getting into DeSoto and Eureka. And some of those could really take off between Topeka and Kansas City. Once we get deeper into the afternoon, they may become a little bit strong over toward the Kansas City area itself. And then guess what happens? Overnight Friday into Saturday, some leftover moisture actually becomes sleet or maybe brief wet snow, so a little bit of mix into the area. I don't see it being heavy enough to impact travel whatsoever, but it's one of those things where, okay, here we go. I see it falling. you got to be kidding me. And then through prompt time, just off to the east of Topeka, up toward Atchison and getting into St. Joe and through those northern suburbs of Kansas City and into the airport area, uh, there might be a little bit of wet snow there going through late Saturday. Uh, but travel looks pretty good throughout. So this morning, nice and bright with temperatures easily in the 60s. We go 75. Lunchtime, an 85 for 5 p.m. And with our outlook after being so warm today and near a record high, which by the way is 87 degrees, we only go to 64 through the nighttime period, but I think the wind really kicks up then. So if it's light now, it gets much stronger late day tonight into tomorrow. Tomorrow, 78 early, then that chance of a thunderstorm. Really chilly this weekend with patchy mix on Saturday. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, back into some 60s and 70s with lows in the 40s.